Who's Jim Henson? Well, I don't know. You know Jim yeah. Henson? I don't know. Yeah. Miss Piggy, do you know anything about Jim Henson? Mm, nope. Not particularly. Anybody oh, here know? Nah, no. I mean, no. Hello there. My name is Jim Henson. The Muppet Show and Sesame Street, his most well-known projects, have been enjoyed by audiences the world over. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Bo 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 rio. Mi patito es un primo. Si lo aprieto con amor, da un chillido que muestra felicidad. Oh, se anilla ser mi traje tan badly. Ki azu, yo me tighti, me hayek benek badly. In addition to being a gifted performer, Jim Henson was a maker of dreams. He envisioned a world where everything was possible with a little humor, love, and understanding from his family of Muppets. Intrigued by a new invention, television, Jim built his first puppets while still in high school as a means of working in the new medium. In 1954, he enrolled at the University of Maryland with thoughts of becoming a commercial artist. It was at the university, as a freshman, that Jim met Jane Neville, who would become his first performing partner and his wife. Well, we first met at University of Maryland. Actually, we met in a puppetry class. I was in art education, and it was our senior year course. And uh, But Jim was just coming in as a freshman. He was already experienced and, and uh, on television when he came into our class. As a freshman at the University of Maryland, he created more puppets, including an early version of Kermit. He called these characters the Muppets. In 1955, while still a freshman, local NBC station WRC hired Jim to produce a twice-nightly five-minute show called Sam and Friends. He continued as a student, but his reach soon grew beyond the confines of College Park. Soon, everyone belonged to the Muppet generation. Jim Henson's creation of the Muppets led to an exciting and unique career. From a series of local television commercials, to guest appearances on national network shows, to The Muppet Show and Sesame Street, to receiving numerous honors and awards, including 18 Emmys, seven Grammys, and four Peabody Awards. It's a wonderful experience, and I feel very humbled to be in such a distinguished company here. Uh, I'd like to begin by mentioning the fact that uh, the Muppets, the work of the Muppets, and all, all the work that I do on television is, uh, is very much a group effort. It's a lot of us that do this. Uh, it's these talented people that make it possible for me to do the things that, uh, that give me the credit for doing a lot of good stuff on television. And I would really like to thank those people over there and the others back in New York and London and so forth. But, to oh, movies and the conception of entire new universes, and species. Jim Henson and his Muppets became a universal household word. You know, most of my experience with puppets is really watching television. And uh, in a way, that's, that's what Jim, I think, changed the most in, uh, in the media. Uh, until that time, puppets generally played television as they would a, a proscenium arch. Uh, Jim changed that by using eyes that could really focus and people could look at each other, they could look at objects, and they could look at the people at home. That was a big difference in, uh, in the way puppets were used on, on television. He was always really, really fun to work with. He always made you feel comfortable. You never felt nervous, you know, uh, around him. I just remember him um, being down in the ditches with us with puppets you know, working, working the Muppets and stuff, and, and him laughing, just laughing at the silliest stuff. My ancestor, the Viking, was terrible at plundering and pillaging. He was? Yes, he plundered his plundering, and he, he blunders. <laughs> Jim Henson dared to dream, and with his magic touch, 
He entertained, enlightened, and inspired millions.